Hello, it's John Heaton, and today I'm going to compare two great albums, Ram and Imagine, both released in 1971. Uh, Ram released on May the 17th, and Imagine nearly four months later, September the 9th, 71. By the way, I've had a few complaints about my microphone, so I'm using a new one. I'm hoping it's a little, you can pick it up, the sound up a bit better. So. It's, I'm going to judge these albums, or call it a head-to-head, -head, a bit like Rafael Nadal, Roger Federer, head-to-head. -head. Well, there's various stats I'm going to use, or, or categories, and um, I'm not going to necessarily declare a winner, but I'm going to compare the two. So the first thing to say is the critical reaction at the time to Ram was very negative. That doesn't mean to say the public didn't like it, because they sent it more or less to the top of the charts. Uh, but the critics were another kettle of fish and they reacted very negatively. And some, some Beatles fans did as well, or should I call, say, Lennon fans. But McCartney had enough people to send this album, as I say, to the top of the charts. So, um, but some of the critics, some of what they said about this album is quite staggering to read um, all this time later. Rolling Stone described it as unbelievably inconsequential and monumentally irrelevant, which is quite an amusing dig, I suppose. And then uh, Carr and Tyler said, star press ready to, ready to wear music to be played with ducks on the wall. Um, Ringo was not too flattering about the album, said there's not one worthwhile tune on it. And I think a few people were kind of blaming McCartney for the breakup of the Beatles because that's certainly how it appeared to the public because he was the one who took them to court so he was feeling the backlash of that and in contrast when Imagine came out it was lauded to the skies um, and also was a huge commercial success so uh, in terms of critical reaction John won the day at the time the public reaction was fairly similar uh, both albums were popular uh, bloody mosquitoes have descended in Budapest in all their numbers, unfortunately. Um, so the second category I'm going to judge the albums on is lyrics, and I think I think lyrically, Imagine is a stronger album, but that just is probably because John's normally a better lyricist than Paul, not all the time. But uh, in that particular category, I know a lot of people at the time were expecting great big grand statements from rock stars on this or that or you know religion or uh, politics and they didn't get that from Ram at all uh, and the messages on Imagine were somewhat weightier should we say but some of them are just love songs and I don't think a song like I Don't Want to Be a Soldier is necessarily a better lyric than uh, Heart of the Country it's just a different style um, but I think lyrically Imagine's stronger. In terms of songs and consistency, I think the albums are pretty much equal. I think Imagine goes up higher uh, with the title track and Give Me Some Truth. But other than that, I think, uh, I think both our albums are incredibly consistent. Long Head Lady is the only one I don't rate too highly on Ram. Uh, so I think an equal pairing, an equal score for both albums on, on songs and consistency. Vocals and harmonies. Uh, I'm going to give the nod to, to Ram on this one because I think jo Paul and Linda's vocal work together is superb, and harmony singing is very much missing from uh, the Lennon album. Uh, there's in intricate vocal arrangements on songs like Dear Boy, which work very well, and uh, Monkberry Moon Delight with, R with uh, Ringo, Linda's backing vocal, very effective. It's just starting to rain here. Hope we can survive at the end of this. Um, so I'm going to give the nod to Ram on vocals, stroke harmonies, originality. I'm going to give the nod to Ram on this as well. I think I think imagine, as Lennon said at the time, is plastic owner band with with ch chocolate on it for conservatives like yourself. And he said that to McCartney. Um, whereas Ram is there's nothing really like it in his catalogue, before or since. Uh, it's it's quite unique in that respect. It's wacky, it's original, and uh, there's some of Paul's very best 
work in there. So I, I'm going to give the nod to RAM. Production is another good argument or discussion here because on the face of it, it imagines a very well produced album, but then it is a bit too glossy, I think. He's piling strings upon strings on the ballads to, in an attempt to make them commercial. And it works very well on the title track. And then on tracks like Jealous Sky, it's a bit over the top. And on tracks like How, it's a bit over the top, I think. Uh, whereas Ram, the production is pared down. And there's, yeah, there's a bit of orchestra on Backseat of My Car and Uncle Albert. But uh, it's used more tastefully, I think. And Imagine is a bit too much like an album trying to be a hit album. That's, that's a slight dig not a major criticism. Uh, so I think Imagine a tad overproduced in certain cases on certain tracks, particularly some of the ballads. Uh, then we've, we'll come to longevity. Well, I think both of these albums have longevity. They're probably respectively the favorite solo album from each Beatle, from each of the two Beatles there, with Plastigona Band being the one rivaling Imagine for the top spot. Uh, Ram more or less consistently wins the the award for the best loved McCartney album in his catalogue, um, McCartney Wings album. So it's it's quite interesting to see how that album has been reevaluated, not by everyone, but by quite a few people, and certainly by well maybe the fans loved it all the time, all along, and the critics were just wrong at the time or out of kilter. Um, certainly taken in context with the Beatles split. Uh, you can understand some of the negative comments directed towards Paul, but I think uh, time they call the universal healer, as Steve Winwood once sang. Uh, and I think time has been kind to both albums, and they both are outstanding albums from the, these two solo Beatles. So thank you for watching, and we've just about escaped the rain. So thanks. See you next time.